Hello, so peripheral artery disease. We're discussing the classification system of peripheral artery disease and which one? We're discussing TASC number two. So this stands for Transatlantic Intersociety Consensus number two. This is the newest type. And we can divide the treatment of peripheral artery disease into two groups, endovascular treatment and open open revascularization so endovascular treatment and open revascularization so these are two main groups of treatment options for peripheral artery disease patients and we can divide then the patients into four groups a b c and d patients a and b patients are usually having an endovascular treatment c and d patients are usually having an open revascularization treatment and here I draw just that A is really, really, for A patients, it's really, really preferred to do the endo for B2, but not as much as A. For C, it's preferred to do the open. For D, really, really preferred. Okay? So now that we know that, we need to check the anatomy so we can understand these four types of patients. So I will draw a stomach. Here is the stomach. Then we have the groin. Then we make the legs here with the foot, like this. We make the knees. That's it. That's a human being. Okay. And now we check the arteries. So the artery supply to the lower leg. We have the aorta. Then comes down a line like this. Very simple. At the knee, we divide it into one more branch, and from that branch, we divide into one more branch. Okay. Same here, we go through here, through the knee, from this, from this branch in the knee region, we divide it into one branch and another branch like this, okay? This is the anatomy. And which arteries are we de dealing with here? At this spot, we have the aorta. This is the aorta, this big one. Then we come above the groin, we have the iliac. Iliac arteries. Below the groin we will have the femoral. We will have the femoral arteries. Here when we come down we will have the popliteal. And then in the lower leg here below the knee we will have the tibial. So we have aorta, iliac above the groin here, femoral, then popliteal, then tibial, and that's it. That's the main part of the uh, arteries. But we can have, we can divide the iliac into three types, the femoral into three types, and which ones? We need to make from iliac a small branch. This is still above the groin. And below the groin, we make another small branch here. Okay? And that makes us that we have a common iliac. We have an internal iliac, we have an external iliac. So we have three iliacs here, common, internal and external. Then we go down to the femoral. Here also we have the common, that's the main branch. Then we have this small branch that is not internal in this case. Here we call it deep. And this one which continues is the superficial. So we have common femoral, deep femoral, and superficial femoral arteries. If you compare that to iliac, we have common iliac, as well as we had common femoral. We have common iliac, but the only difference between these two, iliac and femoral, is that instead of having internal and external in iliac, we have a deep and superficial in the femoral one. And that's it. Then we come down, we got, come to the popliteal artery here in the knee region, then it branch, this branches into the tibial artery and we call this anterior tibial because that's anterior means it's front of and then we have a posterior posterior tibial and in between these we have a small guy called peroneal peroneal so we have the popliteal artery divided into anterior tibial and into another branch here which became posterior tibial and peroneal. And this small guy that I didn't mention yet, 
this division is called tibioperoneal. So this one is tibioperoneal that becomes posterior tibial and peroneal. Okay? Enough of anatomy. So now the important uh, things that you have to know is these ones. Iliac. We had common iliac, internal iliac, external iliac. Then we had common femoral, deep femoral and superficial femoral. Remember this because now we will simplify these drawings into four drawings of the same, same way. So here we have the aorta. Then we draw a line like this. We draw another line like this and and then a line from that. Same thing in the other side. We draw a line like that, then an, another from that, and then a smaller one from that. So take a piece of paper and pen and do this, and you will see that it's, it's much easier when you draw it out. The same again for B. We draw another here. We draw a line like that. Then we draw another here and a small one there. We have two legs, so we need to do the same in the other side. One like that, line, line okay c line 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 one more here smaller and then the small one there in the d aorta line like that branching there you start to get the picture now okay we can now mark what we do is we, we will draw a small branch that we said and another small branch. And then we make the groin. The same thing here on the opposite side. A small branch like that, another one there, and in between the groin. And then in, in this point where it divides, we'll draw the knee and the knee. Okay, the same here. We draw a small line there, a small line there, and the line in between, that's the groin. Another line, another line in between the groin. So these are the branches. Here's the knee and there's another knee. The same thing again. Line, line in between the groin. Line, line in between the groin. Knee, knee. Once again. Line, line in between the groin. Line, line in between the groin. Knee and knee. Now you have the anatomy of, of the lower leg. So, these are four different patients. And as we said, these two patients will, will have an endovascular treatment. These two patients will have an open revascularization. And now we just need to learn what, what are we talking about? What's the difference between these? All, these? all these four patients have the same arterial system, but they have something called stenosis, that is a narrowing of the arteries. Or they can have occlusions that is a total occlusion. That is no blood can flow through these arteries. Arteries are the vessels that bring you blood to your tissues, to your, to your legs. And it can be a stenosis, meaning there is less blood flow. Or it can be occlusion, that is mean no blood flow at all. And in A patients, we mentioned that we had these arteries. Aorta, then Common iliac is this line here, common iliac. So common iliac, internal iliac, external iliac. You see, common iliac, internal, external. Then the femoral arteries. We have the femoral artery, common femoral, deep femoral, and superficial femoral. Then we come here, we have the popliteal artery. Then we come down here, we have the tibial, the anterior tibial here. We have the posterior tibial here in between the peroneal artery. Okay, so now check out this. Eight. A. In A we have a stenosis, 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 and stenosis. S stands for stenosis in this case. We have stenosis of the what? Common iliac. You see, common iliac. Both sides can be stenosed. And I will draw one here. This is one, one variant. One alternative, stenosis of both sides of the common iliac, or the second option is stenosis of both the external iliac. This is the external iliac. So A patients are SSSS, 
And the other thing, that is that is the that is that region because in this classification it's important to divide these regions into two types. We have those that are above here, the aortoiliac, so aorta and iliac groups, and the other group is this lower one here, the femoral and the popliteal group. Okay. So up here we have SSSS, stenosis, meaning narrowing of the blood vessels of these common iliac and external iliac. Okay, here down here in the femoral group uh, region, we will have a stenosis of less than 10 centimeter. Stenosis of less than 10 centimeter. Now we come to B patients. Here we have SOS. SOS. We have a stenosis of the aorta and that is less than three centimeter. We have an occlusion of the common iliac. You remember here, common iliac. That's, what, that's another option. So the first option is here, second option is here, and third option is there. Third option is a stenosis of the external iliac and we have, and we have a stenosis of less than three centimeter. Okay? Now we go on. No, actually, we will have a stenosis here from... We will have a stenosis here of 3 to 10 centimeter. We will have a stenosis of 3 to 10 centimeter in SOS. And here, instead of having less than 10 centimeter, we will have stenosis of less than 15 centimeter. Then we go on. C. Here we will have O, 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 S. That is extending. So the stenosis is not just here in the external iliac. It is extending down here into the common femoral one. So this is one option. That we have an occlusion of both the common iliac the other option is this one, that we have an occlusion only in one side of the external iliac with the origins of these smaller branches. So origins here of the internal iliac and origins of the common femoral. And the third option is that we have a stenosis, like here, 3 to 10 centimeter, but the difference here is that we have an extension into the common femoral one. The third one we are dealing with here is that we have an occlusion of the aorta. We have an occlusion, so we have O, 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 and as you can hear, O, O, O is very severe, and O. So it's very many O's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven O's, meaning occlusions. So we have, the first thing is that we can have occlusion of the aorta and the both, both the common iliac arteries. The second option is that we can have an occlusion of both sides of the external iliac arteries. The third option is that we can have an occlusion of common iliac, the external iliac and the common femoral at the same time. And the popliteal is the fourth option, the popliteal artery. And we didn't mention here, I forgot to mention here, here we had stenosis of less than 15 centimeters. Here we have a stenosis of more than 15 centimeters, more than 15. Here we have a stenosis, here, not stenosis, here we have occlusion of more than 20 centimeter. So, to summarize here, as you can see, this lower part, if we only look at the lower part now, in A patients, we have a stenosis of these femoral popliteal regions of less than 10 centimeter in A, more, less than 15, more than 15, more than 20. The difference here with more than 20 is not, it not, it's not just a stenosis, it's an occlusion. And if you look at the, this iliac region, 
we had SSSS, meaning we had stenosis here, stenosis there on both sides. In B, we had stenosis SOS, we had stenosis of aorta instead, occlusion of the common iliac, stenosis of the external iliac with 3 to 10 cm. C, we also have 3 to 10 cm stenosis of the external iliac, but with an extension into the common femoral, that's the difference here. And we also have a lot more occlusions. We have occlusions of both sides of the internal iliac, uh, of the common iliac. We have an occlusion here of the external iliac with the origins of this one. Here we didn't have the occlusion with the origins. Here you see we only had stenosis, occlusion, single occlusion, and stenosis. And here in D, we had a lot of O's, a lot of occlusions. We have occlusions of the aorta and the common iliac at the same time. We can have, that's one option. The other option is that we have an occlusion of both the external iliac. The third option is that we have an occlusion of all the threes. So common, common iliac, this one, and this one. So external and common femoral. And fourth one is that we have an occlusion here of the popliteal. And as we remembered, the lower part, we had less than 10 cm, less than 15 cm stenosis, more than 15 cm stenosis, more than 20 occlusion. So this, these are the differences, as you can see. So the take home message is that we get a patient and we need them to check, we need to check where in this arterial system do we have a stenosis or an occlusion. And based on that, we can decide, is this an A patient, B, C, or D patient? And based on that, we can decide, do we need an endovascular treatment or do we need an open revascularization? And that is TASC second classification system, which stands for Transatlantic Intersociety consensus treatment and I hope you got this anatomy it's maybe a little bit complicated because it's so much information at the at, at one spot but always remember you draw a line then you draw another line second and a smaller branch from that so once again you draw a line then a line here a branch from that and a smaller branch from that and then you have aorta you have iliac arteries above the groin, you have femoral arteries below the groin, you have popliteal arteries at the knee, and you then you have tibial arteries below the knee. That's it. And you, do you just divide the iliac into three types, the common, internal, and external. And then you divide the femoral into three types, common, deep, and superficial. And then you go down to the popliteal, and here it divides into tibial anterior tibial, and it divides into tibial peroneal first, which divides into posterior tibial and peroneal, and that's it. And then you get this, then you get this, uh, this simplified diagram, which you can just draw at home. And then you will be able, if you draw this many times, you will be able to memorize that. And as to, 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 uh, to make the memorization a little bit easier, I would suggest you to concentrate on this uh, on these letters so we have s s s s s o s o o o s o o o o o o o okay and then you make a rhyme of it or anything you want so you make you make s s s s s so s s s s this is four s o s o o o s why did I drag out the S there? Because it's an extension. We said that it's 3 to 10 cm stenosis, but it's an extension into the common femoral. So it's not like here, SOS with 3 to 10 cm, it's an extension. So once again, you have SSSS, SOS, OOOS, and then you have seven O's. OOOOOOO. And it sounds very stupid, but I remember it. I remember it in this way, and I think you will too. And then you just remember the numbers that we have: less than 10 cm, 10 cm, more than less than 15, more than 15, more than 20, and that's it. Thank you very much for listening.